and welcome to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Melicia and today's video is all about my weekend full of dirty laundry routines and all day clean with me and organize with me. So I'll be sharing my weekend routines. So if you need some home cleaning, motivation or inspiration to get you ready for the week, turn this video on your TV or your tablet or any other device and let's tackle it together. I hope y'all enjoy. And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it It's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad So now that I have a load of laundry started Let's move on to one of the kids' bathrooms And it was definitely time to clean the bathroom up Because there were clothes in there And countertops were gross And soap left on the counter They're dripping and there's I guess trash underneath the soap dispenser. It's been a bit since I've deep cleaned in this bathroom, so we're gonna go ahead and get all of this cleaned up. And here on the wall that I'm showing you, this is where I had some pictures up on the wall, and as you can see, I've taken them all down. And my husband's gonna putty these holes here so that way I can rehang some new pictures. Yes, you guys, the holes are in the walls in here. So I am actually gonna be hanging up some new pictures in here. I just haven't had a chance to do it. But first, we're gonna go ahead and get this bathroom all the way back together. And I'm gonna mop and also vacuum in here too. So let's get to it. Look to the left, look to the right. Nothing can stop me in the night like I'm leaving all the bad I'm just spraying it down with the Lysol all-purpose cleaner and look you guys on the mirror here you know okay so when I was younger in school we used to get toilet paper we would wet it and throw it up on the ceiling like at school in the bathroom and it and the toilet paper dries there so I'm not sure if you guys did that but on this mirror was exactly that and actually up on the ceiling in the bathroom there's also one too I think that my son did just that he got the toilet paper wet it threw it up on the ceiling and of course it sticks and then there's also the same thing on the mirror here that I just cleaned off. So yeah, I'm gonna be having a good chat with him because this is not gonna happen, not here. I'm laying down into compiling. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care to doubt. I see you in the wild, cause this time I will choose you. So now that I've cleaned the um, countertop off, I'm going to grab my Lysol toilet bowl cleaner and then put that in there and let that soak for a little bit while I go ahead and clean the toilet bowl and around on the floor. It's been a minute since I've been in here and cleaned, so I'm going to also grab my Bissell steamer. So around this toilet needs to be steamed very well. Um, if you have boys, then you know, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So make sure you stay tuned. Watch how the Bissell steam cleaner really gets up all the dirt. And if you're having to tackle your bathroom or spot clean it with me, give this video a thumbs up and let's do it together. You're using it. You got all your secrets. 
guys, this is the Bissell Steam Shot that I was just talking about earlier. And you guys, this is not sponsored. I bought, but I do have a link down below in my description box if you want to take a look at it. I actually bought it from Amazon, and this thing is awesome. It does its steam magic. If you guys stay tuned and you'll see exactly how I use it in this bathroom. I really need to like steam my whole entire house once I was done in here because it really lifts that dirt and it gets things off that you think you can't get off just by using product. The steam is awesome. So make sure you stay tuned. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the backseat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. showing you guys the baseboards around the toilet bowl so here I've already cleaned the baseboards with the steamer and as you can see this is gleaming white and this is the corner in the back side of the toilet and as you can see you guys know what that is so yes we're getting ready to steam this and get it all off so watch how this lifts up all of that So right here, what I did was spray some bleach right here where the screws are um, is holding the toilet seat down and let that sit and then now I'm gonna steam that off as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna give this rug a good shake and then give this floor a nice good quick vacuum before moving back to the laundry because I know that my load has already stopped. I need to switch it over to the dryer.
else but me Okay, so now we're back to the laundry room and this load has stopped some time ago. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over this load from the washer into the dryer and then start one more load here in the laundry room. And you guys, here I'm just doing the smell test. As I mentioned maybe two videos ago, I am now, I'm using less laundry detergent. So I am still using the method because right now that is my favorite go-to laundry detergent um, method in the ginger mango scent. And I'm smelling the laundry as it's coming out of the wash because I am using like maybe a fourth, like less than I've ever used before. And let me tell you, my clothes are still kind of clean. So as I've said before, less is better and it truly is. And I'm not sure if it's just the detergent or I was just over using product in the past. But definitely give it a try, you guys. Definitely try to use less detergent and see how your clothes come out. And if you're already using less, comment below. Let me know if you feel the same way as I do. Your clothes are still coming out clean, smelling amazing. Um, just comment below and let me know what you're doing. <laughs> First of all, just finished drying. So now we're gonna going to hang and fold up and put all of these clothes away. And honestly, you guys, laundry is never ending around here. Lately, I've been doing all of my dirty weekend laundry routines. Um, I try to like put it all in a day or two, which is normally on the weekends. But I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I know I've probably said this before, but I'm really gonna try to include doing laundry one or two times, maybe even three times throughout the week and just try to get help myself stay on top of my laundry and not letting it pile up because trying to tackle all this laundry on the weekend is a lot. Um, trying to get it done because it falls behind so quickly. But I hope that you guys are getting tons of motivation and tons of home inspiration um, in today's video. Let me know how your weekend routines go. How do you prep? How do you reset for the week? Let me know down in the comment section, but I really hope you guys are getting tons of motivation today. If you are, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because it really helps me out I just hope you
now that I started that last load, look at my laundry room counter. I've got to get this all cleared off and cleaned up. And I'm also going to wipe down these cabinets because I can't remember the last time that I actually wiped these cabinets down. And they do get dusty in here. Um, one day I want to redo this laundry room, but I haven't had a chance to. I just pointed to the Persil laundry pods because if you have not heard already in my previous video, I am not a big fan of the Persil laundry pods. Um, I just feel like they don't clean very well and your clothes don't come out smelling as nicely as other products have. So anyway, I'm going to finish using these because I am not a person that's going to throw something away, but I am going to finish using these Persil pods. And then after that, you will not see me purchase another thing of Persil laundry pods. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned off up here and I'm gonna wipe these countertops, counter down. And then I'm also gonna wipe down the cabinets, as I said before, and get this laundry room all cleaned up and wipe off the washer and dryer. And then I'm also gonna be vacuuming the floors. So stay tuned. And if you need to do your laundry room, just put this up and let's knock out our laundry rooms together. Priscilla pods into my glass container I saw this little card here and I guess it I guess it's, you're supposed to hang it on your hanger to have a fresh clean smell maybe in your closet I looked on the container but I didn't see anything that mentioned this little card that was in there so I'm just assuming I'm just assuming that the picture on here that it's just supposed to go on the hanger but um, thank you but no thank you for still and you guys I'm so sorry about the background noise um, my husband bought a pair of new shoes and Toby is just like chewing up the box so that is what you hear I'm so sorry so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Falling down, even if the sky is falling down. 
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down And you guys, this is going to be it for today's video. I hope that today's video is able to motivate you, even if you just got maybe one load done of laundry or just a couple of tasks done or one cabinet decluttered in your home, but it's totally worth it and you're doing an amazing job. So if you guys liked today's video, I would love if you can hit that like button. It also helps us creators so much if you could consider subscribing. I would absolutely appreciate that as well. I'm getting close to 2,000 subscribers and that's a small goal of mine. And I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.